Hey everybody, it's Matt Powers. I'm filming a new course, Regenerative Soil, and this is an excerpt from it. I'm exploring the best practices in soil science and practice, and I'm going to the people who are doing it the best. So this is an incredible site. This composting site, Catalyst Bio Amendments, is doing amazing work. They're trained by my soil mentor, Dr. Elaine Ingham, and they go deep, they go far. They're doing such good work. So I wanna show everyone this excerpt so they can understand what the course is gonna be like. But this is just a snippet of a much longer section with them because they have so much to share and their work is incredible. So enjoy it and get ready to watch the extended version in the course. I'll see you there. <laughs> I guess our story starts at uh, one of Elaine Ingham's uh, workshops, actually. Back in 2018 in Oroville. We took a class at hers up at ECI back when it was the old school, and, uh, and then the school fell apart, and they were looking for help, and we kind of forcibly volunteered ourselves upon her and showed up at the class. Um, and yeah, that's when we met our business partners, Zach and Greg. Um, Keisha and I were students for about a year, and then yeah, we kind of all converged at this microscope class and uh, we kind of saw the hole and all the consulting is you need compost you need a material that you can actually do the work with and then one meeting later we said let's do it and then after that everything kind of just came together perfectly and so that's where we decided we were gonna fill that hole and set out to make some of the best compost that we can it's kind of all just falling together you know it's <laughs> just like we just you, if you build it they will come kind of thing we we just sat down, started making compost, and everything's just kind of falling into place. People are finding us, you know? It's been pretty sweet. We have not paid one cent in advertising yet. <laughs> just all word of mouth, though. It's spreading quick. You know what it feels like? is like It's like a, a mimicry of the soil food web. You know? It's like that's the kind of business that we're doing. Is it's, 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 it's not just that uh, we're, we're following the traditional business models and you know moving one thing at a time. It's, it, we're all working together. And so of course it's exploding. Like of course everything is growing quickly because that's how it works, right? It's just like whenever you get the compost into the ground with the plants, like what do we see happen? Like instantly, boom, things start working. And, and everybody's working together, the microorganisms, the plants. Um, they're, they're all uh, working in cooperation with one another to bring forward this new environment. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. I mean, it makes sense. It's like, uh, it's like what we do is, 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 is just mimicking the soil food web. <laughs> this property here in Nevada City uh, popped up. We both found it online at the same time. Um, so yeah, so we're like, hey, I found this property. They're like, yeah, I found this property too. Let's go check it out. So we go there and it's like pasture land, green, green space, you know, like mowable. Everything that we were looking for was right here. Tons of water. So we just went for it. And that was about it. That was almost three years now. So Casey and Keisha were rooted in this community. So there was a lot of resources and through friends. Um, so we built our first pile, I think, almost immediately once we got here, within months at least. And then it was small. And then we had to develop more land uh, to, to expand. And our old location before this one that I'm standing on now is maybe a quarter of the size. So we filled that pretty easily. The, the game was how long do you wait before you can move it and store it and sell it. That's, that was the learning curve of testing over time. And that took, I'd say, a year of just making compost, moving it, watching it, testing it, and just seeing how it developed over time. And then now we're really like churning because we know the times that it needs to set on lot. We know the temperatures and the moistures that it needs to stabilize at before you can move it and sell it obviously we don't sell until we test um, so yeah we we got hit the ground running essentially and i think it took us about a year uh, to refine all of our processes we're obsessively sourcing all of our materials we're making sure everything is clean as we can get it it's organic or you know we're we're, we're doing small test batches making sure that nothing's killing the microbes um, but yeah we're just obsessive we pay attention to every aspect we're making sure that everything's going in that is clean and that the product that comes out is good so we just had the fire as you can tell everything around us is completely burnt um, so we just started making compost again um, on the around the first of the year something like that 
Um, right now we've produced 300 yards as of right now. Um, and so we're kind of on track to probably do around a thousand this year. So we're just getting started. So um, it took about till now, so two and a half years. And I think we're really starting to gain traction now. And the movement's really supporting us. It's like, I mean, people are coming, becoming so familiar with living soil and ag, uh, small home, home farmers, cannabis growers, grape growers, everybody's seeing the benefits. So it's really like grabbing traction right now. So, I mean, timing of everything has really come together. So right now, thankfully, we've made this whole new pad down here. And so we have way more production. We're able to keep up with demand now. And so we're just now getting into where all this stuff is about to be ready. We're gonna move it out and it's ready to go. So there's not necessarily a waiting list right now, but we're on, we're, we ride that edge, you know, it's a fine line <laughs> for sure. We get a lot of high value crop customers. So there's a lot of marijuana, a lot of grapes, um, but we're just now recently getting into a lot of large scale agriculture, corn, wheat, soy down in the valley here in California. That was a complete joy. I actually didn't get it until we pulled up on the lot to deliver. I just like, I figured it was grapes and we pulled up at the farm and I'm like, there's wheat growing here, there's tomatoes growing here, um, I can see soy. And then the farmer reveals that he grows like every crop that we could imagine. And that was just, yeah, it felt like really goal met, reached. Um, and I'm excited to continue to see how this, how this um, kind of progresses forward with these farmers. Um, I know they've already had some really stellar results. Uh, it, that's why they're using our product. But I think as they start to talk to other farmers, it's not as um, closed, closed lipped in the agriculture communities, right? Because there's already such a narrow profit margin that um, success stories get shared with neighbors. Um, so my hope is, is that that just keeps, keeps rolling and that we can keep getting these microbes out to live in, 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 in fields where our food comes from. And just a lot of local home gardeners. And we get a lot of people that order small packages all over the US. We, like Wisconsin, Maine, New York, Florida. So we ship out small little bits of inoculant everywhere. So we do like soil food web style testing. Um, we do biological testing. We do it ourselves in house. And then of course we send it out too, just to verify. So people aren't like, are you flubbing your numbers? You know, so we definitely, uh, we send out, but yeah, we do a lot of everything we do is we check it with a microscope before it's sold. So it gives you the ability to see what's going on. If you're making correct movements here on site, we can make minor adjustments because we can look at it on the spot. We don't have to send it out, wait for a lab result to come back in. We can do it right now, we can know today in minutes, you know, and then we can make adjustments if we need to. I think we met each other in September of 2018. And by October 1st, we had, uh, we had our business put together and we were making compost that December. So it was like, like this, we saw the hole, we jumped on it and we went. I, this, just this year, we're getting like finally set in. The fire set us back heavy, but we're, yeah, things are moving ahead right now really well. Is this your first business or the team's first business? Yeah, definitely. That's incredible. We used to live in South America and we did like reforestation projects and we were down there for like eight years. And then we moved back here to take Elaine's courses and yeah, we just, now we're stuck here. <laughs> Building soil fertility is, there's no like bad end on that. You know what I mean? Like it benefits everybody, you know? So that's, I don't know. I think that's the greatest part about what we all do and how connected it is too, right? Like we all help each other out. We're all, even though we all are more or less competing, there's no competition, do you know what I mean? It's like it all kind of flows together. Everything kind of helps everything else. So it's it's a very good, nice like team building thing for I sure. That. I love making compost piles. Like honestly, like sometimes we'll have music playing and there'll be five of us. Like, I mean, just like when you build a teeny compost pile, there's just a lot of people with their hands in, in the materials, building these huge windrows. So it's very tactile when we're working. It's not just machines moving around. Like we're all getting our hands dirty. We're all joking around. We're having fun. We're dancing, we're playing. It's a, it's a, it's more fun of a job than I, I thought it would be. You know, at, at first I thought like, oh, I don't know if I want to really do large scale compost. That sounds kind of machine oriented and boring, but Honestly, it's really dynamic. Uh, I, I love I love the building. I love the microscope work. Adventuring around in the soil, like my microscope is my favorite thing. And then just all the cool people we get to meet. Um, like you're stopping by right now. You know, this is really great. And we get these visitors all the time that are just as passionate as we are. And so I never know when I'm at work, who's gonna come by, who I get to talk to, or like what amazing experience I'm gonna have. And then when I go back to the lab, it's the same thing. I mean, 
we have new microbes show up in our piles all the time. Like just last year, we started getting this purple amoeba. It's literally purple. It's a testate amoeba. It's gorgeous. And it eats fungal spores. Now, every time I see it, I'm like, hey, purple amoeba. I don't know what species you are, but now they live in our compost pile. <laughs> so I don't know. There's so many, um, so many surprises and lovely things about this work. I could go on and on. <laughs> One of the things that I think is, has made us successful is we offer some consultation with all of our sales. We want to know where our microbes are going. I mean, they're really our babies, you know? We, we, care, we care deeply about them, so we want to know what kind of system they're being put into and if they're going to get taken care of because if they colonize and flourish and grow, then the user is successful and then we're also successful. And so, you know, that builds a really good rapport with our customer base and a lot of repeat customers. I know, I don't, I'm not aware of, of any customer that's come to us so far that hasn't come back, which is, which is really incredible. You know, it's like the best model, business model you could think of. And it's just happened naturally for us. When you really care deeply about what you do and you know how beneficial it is and how much it's needed, then those things kind of happen and fall into place. You know, you, you bring your passion to work every day and, and then our customers bring their passion with them. And maybe we're bored of our daily practices. You know, we're like, oh man, I've been watering compost for four days. But a customer comes in and brings their energy and passion and suddenly your day is uplifted and you're soaring again, you know? And it's, so we're, just really blessed to be able to have that. When customers come here, when farmers come here, new farmers, old farmers, ag, cannabis, grape, it doesn't matter who shows up. It's that like the similarity in what you're talking about. And everybody comes in excited. Everybody comes in with questions. And then you're like digging deep to answer questions because you don't really want to look stupid. But like you dig deep, it makes you think about what you've learned. So for me, it's definitely when I get that interaction with with who's using the product because again like you put your head down you just make it and then to see a professional apply it it's like it's money right there that's the best part for me i guess the most unexpected thing has been just like the 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 expanse of like the word of mouth you know what i mean like we we're making a product we're not really advertising we're not pushing it so to speak because it, we were so limited on quantity in the beginning um, that now that we're, we're putting it out there, people are seeing it, people are, everybody checks it with a microscope. So we have to bring our A game, you know what I mean? It's getting literally put under the microscope. And so it's been amazing that we've been just growing the way we have, actually. I think that's been like the nicest thing for me anyways. <laughs> So right now we have just been focusing on getting our fungal biomass as high as we possibly can. That's what our target is. And right now we found a recipe that's working. Um, we haven't been fluctuating that much just because we need product to be as best as it can be right now. We don't have that much space to practice to, to play around with. Um, but that's totally our, our goal is to start messing around with the piles afterwards, planting them, maybe even selecting certain crops to plant into the pile so that they grow out certain, you know, just start experimenting a lot more now that we're get, the balls are rolling and we're back on our feet again. Basically IMO, um, we're looking for beneficial fungi, right? Through techniques we've learned at the Soil Food Web School. Um, but we do, we've kept a little bit of every single pile we've ever made. So we call it, that's our, that's our inoculum bank, that's our mother pile. Um, and a little bit of that goes into every pile we make. So it's, you know, we're trying right here to just keep compounding what we have and what's coming in on the products that we put into the piles as well, right? We don't add inoculums of any kind. We're just using organic matter and we're composting it thermophilically. And it's basically, yeah, we're making IMO traps. They're just 180 feet long. These are actually something we had to specialty make because they, everybody makes them in black because it, and this reflects the heat instead of trapping it so when you're trying to finish out your compost if the cover's black the surface temperature gets up to like 160 degrees so it, it ends up killing everything on the top layer so we actually had these specialty made because we're we're so selective with our input materials a lot of people get paid to receive materials so they'll take whatever they can get and so what we actually pay for a lot of our materials, you know? So we are being so selective and just like with the covers, you know, like we've created a white cover just to reflect the sunlight and everybody else is just taking what they can get, you know? So I think that's what's really setting us above everybody else right now. Yeah, when we ordered these, we ordered like, I think three kilometers or something of this material. So 
Yeah, we've got more for everybody. <laughs> Was the idea. <laughs> uh, this is our Bakus A30 compost turner. And this does an incredible job with making thermophilic compost. Um, the teeth design <laughs> allow it to take the outside of the pile and put it in the inside and take the inside and put it on the up hillside and what that hap what happens there is within three or four turns we get all of our compost to the center heating part of the pile and that ensures that we're killing pathogen and weed seeds and this particular machine <clears throat> does better than any other one we've used and we've seen um, just great progress with it since we switched um, and it's our main workhorse it does it does ninety percent of the work here on site. How fast does it take you to uh, to turn one of these hundred and eighty foot windrows uh, about fifteen minutes. Yeah, so it's it's fast and slow at the same time. You know, it's moving like a foot a second approximately. It is easy to use. Um, we can hook water up to it. And so we can, you know, with its watering mechanism, we can get water directly to the core of the pile. And when you're making thermophilic compost, when, you're, when your compost temperatures reach 160 degrees, the compost is exhausting a lot of moisture and the microbes are using a lot of water. So it really allows us to get the water directly where we need it during turning. It all depends on time and temperature, right? So usually, when our, when our ingredients are consistent, we build our pile and temperatures come up to 160 within three to five days.